Hello, it is World Wide Web, Wednesday, March 15th, the Ides of March, Corporate Tax Day 2023. Steve Cypress here, and yesterday, likely you've heard the news, OpenAI released its newest, updated, latest, hippity hop, fantastic version of its artificial intelligence chatbot that has taken the internet and the whole world uh, by storm. Uh, I think it's the fastest growing app of all time. And uh, that was ChatGPT3, and now we have ChatGPT4. So now they made it known that ChatGPT4, previous to its release yesterday, has already been powering the Bing search engine, which is sending Google into uh, all kinds of craziness knowing that why do people need to search and go and read stuff on websites when they can just ask ChatGPT to do that? So here's the deal. Uh, I've got all kinds of people tell me all kinds of things about how uh, they want to, you know, write a book with ChatGPT. Now, ChatGPT4 can do a few things. You can look it all up, articles and information all over the place, I'm sure. Uh, first of all, it's not free. As of now, it's still, it's only available with ChatGPT Pro, uh, which I think is like 20 bucks a month. Uh, but it can uh, process like eight times as much information. It can process photos now. You can ask it to tell you what's in the photo or tell you something about the photo. And so on. make a joke, make a song about the photo, tell me a recipe about these items in the photo, all kinds of different stuff you can do. Uh, but it still only returns results with text. You need the other open AI tools like uh, Midjourney and Dolly and all that stuff to, to generate the images. But ChatGPT4 can read, quote, can see images. Uh, anyway, uh, it's just getting better and better, faster and faster, bigger and bigger, more powerful, more adept, more apt, more useful, but still, uh, you're gonna need somebody who knows about the art of persuasion, communication, uh, sales, marketing, um, whatever you want to call it, uh, to really uh, use it to write persuasive uh, words, copy, language, writing. But it's a fantastic tool for research because it will comb through the web and read all the blogs and read all the information and answer questions for you factually. It's not great uh, yet, maybe uh, someday sooner than we think, artificial intelligence will be great at writing with emotion and with personality, but right now it's not, but it's a fantastic tool for uh, maybe a first draft or an outline of a report or a paper or a book or something, or uh, can give you some ideas. It can certainly do a lot of research, answer a lot of questions, and in that way it can save us all a lot of time. Just be careful, it still makes a ton of mistakes. Uh, the uh, open AI uh, programmers call it hallucinations. It hallucinates things, in other words, it makes them up and uh, doesn't tell you it made them up. It just tells you, matter of fact, this is the way it is, and it's not. So uh, nothing that comes out of ChatGPT should ever be published without lots of going over it, editing it, and that's why I recommend you don't even think about using it for any finished product, project, but use it for research, fantastic. Uh, especially, you gotta really know what to say, what to do, how to use it, how to really make it work. It can be a great time saver. Uh, but again, it has its pitfalls. Now, I do have a client who has created a, an unbelievably fantastic course on ChatGPT3, which I assume now, since he's constantly been updating it, he'll be updating it to ChatGPT4. And uh, I will put a link to it, in fact, uh, below this video on uh, my Facebook page. So you can go there to Steve Cypress on Facebook and see the link, or you can check him out. His name is Carlos Redlich, R-E-D-L-I-C-H. He's a phenomenal copywriter and business strategist himself, and he has put together this fantastic course on this chat GPT artificial intelligence, which again, I assume he'll be updating it to chat GPT for any day now, unless he already has, because he is a fast action taker and he knows how to take a, an idea, a concept, or in this case, a tool and help you out to how you can make the best out of it. Because certainly, there's a lot of great things you can do with this chat GPT and now GPT-4, uh, but you gotta be careful. It has its limitations and it can cause some trouble and mistakes. So be careful how you use it, but by all means, uh, use it the right way. Great time saver and therefore great money maker. So congratulations to OpenAI. 
which of course, I'm sure, is nowhere near done yet. They say they're still just in infancy. We'll see chat GPT, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and other things and all kinds of AI. It's really has taken the world by storm. Either jump on the artificial intelligence train or pretty much get run over. So I hope you do the former. And that'll do it for World Wide Web Wednesday, March 15th, 2023. Thanks for being here today, and I'll catch you back here again tomorrow on Throwback Thursday. Until then, over now. Bye-bye.